welcome back all right so today we're going to be doing an easy tiered it turned out to be a dress but when i started out i was trying to a skirt but i was rushing it so much that i didn't measure um the length of the skirt so then that got a little you know messed up so it turned out to be a dress but you can use this method to do either one you can do a dress like i ended up doing or you can do a skirt so with all that said, let's get right into it. Like I said, super quick, super easy. Let's go. You see how much, but like I said, I didn't think about the length in between the tiers. So I left way too much, and so it ended up being a dress. But the first thing you're gonna do is measure your waist because that's gonna be your main measurement. And so you get your waist, and then you just double it. So the waist and then double it, and then that's your first piece. You can add like a half an inch to an inch for seam allowance. And you'll have three pieces but if you're making a skirt do not do like i did and leave that long of a length in between um make sure you cut it shorter based on how long you want the skirt and add an inseam allowance between each one but i have one twice the twice the waist three times the waist and four times the waist and then you're going to go on and do a loose stitch so the widest stitch you can do least tension so that you can just pull the fabric together so you're going to match the top piece up with the next piece so you're going to pull it in just enough because this fabric is so thin you're not really getting that you know big body but you just pull it so you get i don't think i'm making sense but anyway <laughs> so the first piece will match up with the second piece so the first piece is twice your waist and you're going to okay you're going to do pull in the second piece to match up with the first piece so that you'll get this look here if you get what i mean so it'll look like this once it's done so you'll shear you'll bunch in the last piece and the second piece to match up with the other pieces above it and then once you're done with that, you'll go on to the next. Ah! So what you want to do is you'll have the three pieces. You'll have the piece that's twice your waist, three times your waist, four times your waist, which is the bottom piece. So you want to do the stitch, pull in the piece. I don't know why I'm having a hard time explaining this pull in the piece to match up with the piece that's three times the four times you wanted to match up with the three times the three times you wanted to match up with the two times so that they all fit nice together and then the same length as the two piece mm -hmm. that's what you want to do that's what you want to do and then once you do that you see you sew it straight down the side like you match up front to front matching up the seams together and then sew down yeah okay let's get back into it all right once i did that then i added elastic to the top which if you're going to do a skirt you do the same thing you can add the elastic in two different type of ways you can make a casing and pull the elastic through sew the elastic closed like attach it together but i'm just going to sew the elastic up top you can do that with a zigzag stitch or with a serger like I did. Um, everything with the serged hems, you can do with a zigzag stitch. So you're just going to pull the elastic because the elastic is not going to be the same length as the top of the dress because you want it to hold you up. So you're going to make it smaller. Just you're going to measure around your top part, make sure it's nice and good. And then you can see I sewed it along the top there and just folded it in and you can top stitch over the sides to keep it in place. Or you can top stitch along the whole thing and make, like I said, a casing, but I didn't want to do that. And then once I laid it all out, I was like, it needs a little waist to pull it in so it wasn't all ugh and boxy. So I added some elastic the same kind of way. And like I said, you use a zigzag stitch. I used a serger the same type of way that I did the top piece. And then that is that. And then you're basically done. You just do your hem, you throw it on, and you're all done with that.
all right so like i said that was super quick super easy to do it's a great way i didn't put it on because it was thin and i didn't want to give y'all all of this because you could see through it whatever stuff so i'm gonna use it as a cover-up originally i brought the fabric to make a shirt and stuff like that but i decided to make a skirt and then I was like, oh, it's kind of thin. I could line it and go line it, make it not thin. I'm still deciding if I'm gonna line it so I can wear it on every day, or if I'm just gonna leave it the way it is and then use it as a cover up for like summer. But that's it. You can add straps, you can do whatever you want to it to make it your own, make it a little bit custom. And that's it, like I said. But um, I feel like I rushed through this. So if you have any questions, leave it below. So I was like rushing through it, trying to get all the details in. So I feel like I did, I don't know if I explained it as clear as i could so if you have any questions please ask me i'll be more than happy to help you with them but that is it for the dress hope you enjoyed like i said you can make it a dress or a skirt whichever you want hope you enjoyed and i'll see you in the next one bye